Some other tests that we perform here are maximal airway pressures, and they're conducted on patients uh, with any type of neuromuscular dysfunction, such as Duchenne's muscular dystrophy, spinal muscle atrophy, or any other type of myopathy that's unknown. These tests usually take about six to eight minutes to perform, and we basically have the patient sitting either in a wheelchair, or sometimes we can actually get them in the box, and the maneuver is very similar to the flow volume loop, only it's just slightly different. Um, other tests that we do are fractional expired nitric oxide values that are used in conjunction with flow volume loops in the management of patients diagnosed with atopic asthma. Um, this test generally takes three to four minutes to perform. We also perform end tidal CO2 measurements. It takes about three minutes to five minutes to perform. The patient just breathes normally. And we do pulse oximetry, O2 saturations, measures the level of uh, hemoglobin that's saturated uh, with oxygen. That generally takes just a couple minutes to do as well.